Roll the window down. Open the door now! Open the door now! Oh, David, shots fired, Hi everyone, Donut here. Today we're going to be breaking down a police shooting where officers fired nearly 100 bullets at a man. An officer got wounded and an attempted cop killer came to regret every single thing he did up to that moment. It all started with a simple seatbelt ticket and then everyone tried to make this guy the next George Floyd. Just a seatbelt. That escalated quickly. It jumped up a notch. It did, didn't it? I haven't seen this much gunfire since that one time in doo-doo poo-poo hippie tent land. I mean Los Angeles. I don't know what it is about white SUVs, but somehow they make dudes feel invincible. <laughs> can hurt me. Man, those were some hairy situations. Do you know what could help your hairy situation? On your balls, I mean. That's right, our sponsor for the video, Manscaped. Shouldn't you give your boys the love they deserve? Manscaped is talking about your franken beans. Manscaped is trusted by more than 10 million men worldwide for their trimmers, hygiene and shower formulations, and premium boxers. Them's boxers is comfortable. They make your boys feel good. Today, I'm excited to give you an exclusive preview on the trio of trimmers. That was hard to say. The trifecta, the tripod, and the lawnmower family that takes care of your boys. I'm talking about the Lawnmower 3.0, the Lawnmower 4.0 Pro, and of course, the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra. Why, yes, there are different levels to the grooming game. The rubber grip of the Lawnmower 3.0 Plus provides superior control maneuverability, allowing for a smooth and comfortable grooming experience. It also has a ceramic blade with a plastic guard that's rounded for enhanced comfort and has skin safe technology. The 4.0 Pro offers up to 60 minutes of runtime and a powerful constant RPM motor. One of the best features about the 4.0 is the multi function on off switch that can engage a travel lock feature. This means it won't go off in your suitcase while you're flying and then TSA thinks that you just have a giant d***o in your bag. 4.0 Pro is also wireless charging compatible and a quick charge option. But what about the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra? Ooh. Oh, look at you, sexy. The 5.0 Ultra has taken its grooming precision to a whole new level with next-gen dual skin-safe blade heads. It has an updated trimmer blade and interchangeable foil blade for enhanced performance. It's like getting your hands on two trimmers, but only paying for one. The foil blade glides over your skin, capturing even the finest hairs for a flawless look that's ready to impress. It's even got a little LED light so you can see exactly where you're trimming. The cool thing is, all of these are waterproof. So take them into the shower, use the sink, whatever. And clean up as a breeze, just rinse it under running water. And right now, if you use the code DONUT, you can get 20% off plus free international shipping. Take care of your boys today. Use the code DONUT. Speaking of America's little third world country, let's go on over to HeyJackass.com and see how it's doing. If you've never seen HeyJackass.com, it illustrates Chicago's values. In Chicago alone this year, there have been 119 people shot and killed, 655 people shot in total. Oh, they took away the dick shot meter. They used to have dick shots on here. Surely out of those 536 people shot in Chicago, it's gotta be those mean old racist police officers doing the majority of it. Surely. That's why they have a civilian oversight board and they defunded their police department. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. Let's look at how many people those mean old cops have killed. 2024. Killed one person. Wounded two people. That's the police. The police did that. Those are police involved shootings. Three people total shot. One killed. We definitely need to defund the police now. The majority of 536 shootings is definitely three, right? I'm just checking your math on that. Yes. I got the same thing. Thank God for that civilian oversight board that's getting all those officers in trouble and making them lose their pension by firing them. Let's go, Chicago. Is Beetlejuice still the mayor there? Now what do you think? Oh, no, it's that douchebag now, Brandon Johnson. I was thinking of uh, Beetlejuice here, Lori Lightfoot, former mayor of Chicago. Okay, she's not there anymore. She was pretty horrible, too. Ah, you said it twice, just say it once more, come on. Moving on to our shooting where 96 shots were fired by police. Chicago, Illinois, March 21st, 2024, 6 p.m. Five Chicago officers signed to the 11th District Tactical Unit, a.k.a. some jump out boys, initiate a traffic stop. They noticed the driver of a white SUV was not wearing a seatbelt, which is a reason to pull someone over. The person who they pulled over was this man. This is Dexter Reed Jr. Or if you want to see his high school graduation picture from years ago, here is Dexter Reed. He just had a court date for a weapons charge last year because he brought a loaded weapon to a music festival, a weapon that he was not supposed to have. Officers approach the vehicle and just as any officer would, they ask him to roll the window down because they're tinted. He could be holding a gun or something in there. Not in a rough neighborhood in Chicago. Who would have a gun and want to use it on police there? Remember, police shoot three people a year out of the 536. These police out there in Chicago are very dangerous. Roll the windows down. Roll the window down, man. Roll the window down. What are you doing? Well, I'm not Roll this one down. Roll that one down too. 
Now this part is very important because it's where everything changes. The suspect suddenly rolls the window up and stops complying with the officers. Hey, don't roll the window up. I'm don't roll the window up. Okay, okay. Do not roll the window up. Hey, do not roll Unlock window. the doors Open now. The door. Unlock the doors Open now. The door. Unlock the doors door. now. Hey, Open the door now. Open the door now. Do not roll the window up. Do not. Roll it up. The doors Open now. the fucking door. Unlock the doors Open now. Open the fucking door. Unlock, Unlock the, the door. door now. Open the door now. Open the door now. We have a very dangerous situation right here. Someone with a previous gun charge, not complying with officers, and now your vision of the suspect is completely obscured by that window tent. One of the officers even raises their concern for this. Open the door now. Open the door now. All this kind of culminates into the next part. So from what we just saw, someone was shot or was shot at. This officer then took cover and reported shots fired on the radio. Believe it or not, it was not an acorn this time. As this is happening, the officer to the right also tries to find cover, get a good angle, and try to figure out what the hell is going on. Open the door now! Open the door now! But it's the officer with the third body camera angle where we get to see what is actually going on. You might have noticed the officer on the passenger side there. He's to the left of your screen. Well, he gets shot by the suspect. But wait a minute, I thought they executed this man and shot him 96 times over a seatbelt. That's what Twitter told me. Let's take another look. <laughs> And here's the body camera angle from the officer who was shot. Do not roll the window up. Do not fucking roll it up. Open the fucking door. Unlock the door. Hey, unlock it. Unlock the door. Open the door. It's pretty clear from this footage the suspect was uncooperative because he either had a gun already in his hand or he was reaching for a gun. It kind of looks like he used the chaos of the incident to fire some shots at an officer. For anyone who still doubts that the officers didn't fire first, let's go down the list. Body cam one. The door now. Didn't shoot. Body cam two. Open the door now. Didn't shoot. Body cam three. Open the door now. Didn't shoot first. Body cam four. Open the door Which that one was pretty obvious, and you just saw body cam number five, who was the officer that was shot. After the suspect fired shots, hitting one of the officers, they returned fire. Open the door
After the mag dump Olympics right there, the suspect decides to bail out of his vehicle and try to run for it. Unfortunately for him, there were some officers who still had a couple of magazines left. Had a couple more rounds for him. He just shot a cop. Probably not going to get away if you just shot a cop. You guys remember Tennessee versus Garner, where you can actually shoot a fleeing suspect if you think they pose serious bodily harm or a death to anyone in the public or your fellow officers? This guy just shot a cop, so they're not going to let him get away. They're probably going to keep shooting at him. <laughs> What you just heard were 96 shots total over the course of 41 seconds. That's a whole lot of bullets flying around. And he said the place turned into a fucking bullet festival. So much so that one of the 911 calls really paints the picture. Yes, we would have a shooting on Avis in front of us. How many shots did you get? Like, like they're having a, a Vietnam War. Understandable. Let me go ahead. So I tell you, the officers are already on scene, okay? But after the suspect is incapacitated, the officers rush to the aid of their wounded colleague. You know, the guy that the suspect just shot, which is why they kept firing at him until the threat wasn't moving. Where's Jay Lewis? You ready? You hit? Are you hit? Give me your suit. Let me see you. I'm hit. I'm hit. Where's he at? I'm hit. Jay Lewis is here. Turn it. Hey, my gun right here. Let me see your hand. Let me see it. Hey, come you're good, Tim Lewis. You're good. You're good, brother. You're good. Luckily, that officer was immediately given medical attention and is in stable condition, but I can't say that that white SUV is in very stable condition. I mean, just look at this fucking thing. Hey, to the, the, gun, to the, the gun's right there. The gun's right there. The suspect is also given aid after he is searched to make sure he is no longer a threat. They also find his gun in the SUV. Officers as well as EMS render first aid to the suspect, but he ended up dying because he got shot a bunch. After the incident, the officers who fired shots were placed on 30 days administrative leave. An investigation is currently ongoing with the Cook County... <laughs> Cook County State's Attorney's Office. Those guys. As you might imagine, there was a lot of outrage from this event. Big old protests happening. A couple of local leaders getting up and screaming about these cops killing this man with 96 bullets because of a seatbelt. A lot of them are forgetting to mention that he shot a cop first. The family and the family scumbags, I mean attorneys, are calling for criminal charges to be brought up against the officers involved. This kind of comes down to the totality of circumstances or what the officer sees in front of them. The environment, things that are happening in the moment, the totality of circumstances. This is a a very high gun crime neighborhood. There was a four-year-old shot there last month, and these officers probably know that. Specifically, the neighborhood that they were in is the Humboldt Park area. In 2024, in Humboldt Park, there have been 17 people shot and three homicides. The suspect has previous gun charges, the suspect is not complying, and the suspect shot first. If the officers were carrying 9mm pistols, which normally hold, you know, around 20 rounds, that means every officer there unloaded. Their partner just got shot, and they see the guy that shot their partner, so they just kept shooting till the threat was gone. At least that's what it looks like. What do I know, man? I'm just here to point out the facts. That's why I want to ask you guys the million dollar question. What do you think about this incident? Could it have been handled differently? Were the officers too aggressive in the beginning. Was this a good shoot or a bad shoot? Like good or bad, I mean, you know, justified. That was justified. So please, by all means, have a calm, rational discussion in the comments below. If you want to help support the channel, please go watch my vlog channel, Operation Donut, check out the unsubscribe podcast, or go to donutoperator.com to follow me on every other social media platform, or to get some super sweet merch, like the left lane is for crime. Stay out of it. That's where I want to f***ing speed if I want to, okay? Thank you all for coming out. I hope you had a great weekend, and as always, please have a fantastic fantastic day. Back.